Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in to Digital Builders where we help you build your digital future. Today we have a lot of updates happening on the Wonderland front. Uh, Daniele Sesta hosted an impromptu AMA today uh, discussing a lot of changes that are happening with Wonderland and with time and rap memo. And today in this video, we're going to talk about what you can do to qualify for the airdrop that is taking place. There's two criteria that you need to meet if you want to get the airdrop. We're going to cover that in this video along with some other updates uh, that Daniele just dropped today. So before we get into that, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 4,000 subs. Thank you so much for your support and watching my videos so far. I appreciate you guys being here. Love having you around. Let's get this number up to 4,000. I think we can do it. Let's do it, uh, you know, soon. Maybe, uh, maybe by tomorrow. Tomorrow would be good. All right. So, and uh, oh, one other thing. Um, if you are on Twitter, you can follow me on Twitter. I try to tweet some alpha. Um, yeah, there was a few things where you have a chance to get in early on, like Grape. I tweeted that. And let's see another one. Yeah, I tweeted it before I got a video out. And then there was something else to, oh yeah, that's right here. The free NFT. These things are selling for upwards of like four or $500. And you can have minted it for $1. So I got my eyes peeled for these and I tweet it out when I find it. And then the last thing, um, if you like free money, which I know you do, you can get $50 in free Bitcoin when you spend $100 in crypto on okcoin.com using the link in the description below. All right, so the updates. Yes, let's talk about the airdrop. So, um, and then we'll talk about why the price looks really ugly on time. So the airdrop. Daniele said today there's two ways to qualify for the Wonderland airdrop. Number one, there's a direct airdrop if you are a time, or I'm sorry, a wrapped memo holder. So just for wrapping your memo, you're going to qualify for an airdrop. Now, the second part is there's going to be a release over a 30 day period of time for airdrop tokens for staking memo or for using memo as collateral. He didn't share all the details yet, um, but a few things that were thrown out there or have been thrown around are um, if you stake your memo or use it as collateral uh, in the abracadabra ecosystem or in something else that might be around the corner. I don't know. We'll see. Um, there's going to be yeah, 30 day window where you're going um, where the, the memo, the rat memo stakers are going to be airdropped um, either bet swap tokens or tokens in the form of another type of cryptocurrency. But that is yet to be seen. And that those details are um, yet they've yet to be deployed. Um, but that's something to look out for. So you can prepare for the next updates from Daniele and his team by having that rat memo ready to go and to, uh, to stake it um, when you have the opportunity to do so. Um, yeah, other than that, um, there's other benefits to having rap memo. And there's a reason that uh, Daniele and the Wonderland DAO team are incentivizing for people to wrap their memo uh, in the form of these airdrops. Not only does it help educate people about how to use decentralized finance with um, uh, introducing you know, the concept of staking and introducing the concept of collateralization. Uh, but wrapped memo kind of simplifies the rebase tokens in a way that allows them to be picked up by centralized exchanges. So that's one advantage of having wrapped memo. And it's also one of the reasons why there's this big push to get people to an incentive to get people to move towards wrapped memo because it's just an easier, uh, more compostable way for the, what's what I'm looking for? The Wonderland DAO ecosystem to grow. And the people that are involved in the DAO and the people uh, in the community and the people that are holding time or holding the rat memo tokens, this is a way for them to uh, basically become more wealthy, basically become more enriched. Because the more that rat memo can be used, across chains and with other protocols across uh, the DeFi ecosystem or the crypto ecosystem, the better off will be. The better off will be because the more utility it will have, the more function it will have, the more demand it will have. And then speaking of demand, 
one thing that's happening with the price right now, um, I'm sure that you've noticed that the price has gone down, it's tanked, there's a lot of, ha there's a lot of stuff happening kind of behind the scenes. Number one, um, time is dilutive, right? So like every time that time is minted, it was minted out of the contract, okay? So, it, and there's no cap. Uh, initially, there was no cap on the amount of time that could be minted or put into circulation. So the more time that's in circulation, uh, unless the demand can keep uh, constant with the supply, uh, the price is gonna go down because the supply is going up and if people are selling because of FUD or other reasons, then the price is gonna go down. And that I think is part of the reason um, this is happening now with the, time, the price of time going down. Um, but the team has taken corrective action. So if you are to mint time now, like, like let's say we were to go here and we were going to mint time, instead of minting from the contract and creating a new time token that didn't exist before the mint, now what's happening for the time being is that time token is now minted from the treasury balance. So there's time as a percentage of this treasury balance, which is over a billion, which makes this the largest DAO to ever exist. And uh, it's only like four months old, which is pretty incredible. So time tokens currently are going to be minted from the treasury balance in order to stop the creation of new time tokens and therefore uh, taper off or slow down the dilution of uh, the value of each time token and in turn, you know, the memo and the rap memo and things of that nature. So, so that's what's happening. So we should see some positive price action come from that. Um, and because of the transition that's happening from moving to uh, time being the main cornerstone of, uh, of, of pretty much the whole Frog Nation ecosystem, really, because that's the mint, like that's the minting process. That's where the money comes from, right? That's the central bank. It's moving to this wrapped memo so that we can start branching out into other ecosystems and play nice with other kids in the playground, okay? So it's taking time to get there and it's a complex, complicated process, which means that some of, uh, there's FUD that arises with that and there's also some liquidity strain too because you're trying to move liquidity from, from time pools. Um, you're, you're trying to move liquidity from one pool to another using a different type of token. Not only a different token, but a different type of token. Because wrap memo is not necessarily, it's like a container that holds a rebase token within it in a way. So there's some complexity that goes along with that, but the team is fighting through it. I think it's it still makes me bullish on Wonderland and time and wrap memo and frog nation pro projects and protocols in general, just because uh, the team is very transparent, they communicate really well, and they rise to the occasion. They rise to the occasion, they are very objective and matter of fact with problems, like if it sucks and if it's difficult, <laughs> they tell you, yeah, this sucks, it's difficult, but these are the facts, this is what we're dealing with, and this is, how we're, this is our path forward, this is our solution. So, that is what I like to see in a team because uh, you know the team is, is, is owning it and uh, they ship, they have a good track record to deliver. Um, I mean, nobody bats a thousand, you know, nobody you know, hits every field goal or every shot that they shoot, but um, they're consistent, they're good relative to everyone else. I think these guys are top tier elite. So um, it could be a good time to um, dollar cost them to maybe get your average cost down on time if you're into it again that's this is not financial advice nothing i say here is financial advice do your own research never invest more than you have to lose um this is just for informational and educational purposes only but i'll admit i'll be the first one to admit i bought in time high i think i was at like either it was between like five thousand and seven thousand because i bought in a couple of different times and yeah, and now it's under two for a time token. I've been in for you know, a couple months, but still, I, I'm not sure if I'm above where I was before, um, but you know, you gotta let that compounding kind of run its course and that auto compounding kind of turn, build some momentum as it uh, exponentially grows. But um, I might deploy some more capital here because it's under 2000, this could be a, a good entry point. Maybe I'll keep an eye on it. If it dips down to 1500, I'll for sure jump in, but I don't know, it could rebound from here, we'll see. 
but that would get my cost uh, average down per time token. And uh, on, at the, on that note, um, as you can see here, the APY is still very high. And that's what made this whole thing attractive in the first place. Uh, Danielle, you mentioned today in the AMA that it's going to stay up at least for the next couple of months. Um, and then, you know, maybe like three, four, five, six months from now, depending on how things progress and how things go, they might notch that down 10, 15, 20% from where it's at now. Um, that being said, yeah, I am still bullish on, on time. Um, because they're huge, right? This is something that's never been done before. They are the leader in this space. And in four months to, to raise a billion dollars and to have uh, the level of organization that they do and to build a community of loyal followers like they have, uh, that's a very special thing that is, that's happened. So, um, so yeah, I mean, it makes me think that they can pull off even more great things. But anyway, so um, there are other benefits to having Memo. So going back to an, another of the main points of this video, the other benefits of having uh, having Memo, uh, since it's not technically a rebase token, it's easier to have like apples to apples comparisons. It's easier to not only um, have it more probable to get on a centralized exchange, which would be amazing because that means anyone that's holding now holding rap memo now, if it gets on a centralized exchange, you know what happens whenever a token hits a centralized exchange, number go up and it usually stays up after that. So that would be great. Totally understand that motive. Um, and I mentioned before, it's easier to um, move across chain and, and, and interact with other protocols. And uh, you, that means you can use it for collateral in other DeFi protocols, which is great too. Um, and then it just adds deeper, it can help add deeper liquidity as well. It gives you more liquidity, gives protocols more liquidity kind of across um, the chain and it's good marketing. There's a lot of benefits that go to it. So anyway, um, you can take a look at this most recent Medium post that actually just went out today and it talks about the transition to, to Memo and then it talks about um, the, the, uh, the, the Rat Memo cookie box. Uh, analogy um, to kind of help uh, explain or conceptualize this move from time and it's a rebase token and to memo and then the box being like rap memo but that's beyond the scope of this video but this kind of uh, goes into more detail of what I summarized in this in this video um, and it talks about the next steps and how you can get involved um, you can add Here's what I was talking about, being able to use Rap Memo for uh, liquidity purposes. Like you can create liquidity pairs with Rap Memo, you can add it and then start and then use it for yield farming, which would be huge. So your Rap Memo uh, value is appreciating while you're uh, using it to generate passive income from yield farming, which is like a win-win any way that you look at it. So um, yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap this one up now. If you have any questions, uh, any comments, please let me know below. Um, don't forget to like this video if it was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you're into decentralized finance and the passive income and into crypto in general. Um, I also want to take a look at um, uh, 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 my, my crypto portfolio and some plays that I'm looking at for uh, 2022. But I want to know if that would be something that you guys would be interested in, uh, in seeing as far as my outlook for 2022 and kind of, I might get into some particular specific coins or tokens that I'm looking at. Uh, and if I add them to my bags, I'll let you know. Uh, if that's something you guys would be interested in, I didn't wanna just do it without saying something because you guys would be like, hey, what the hell is this? I like DAOs, I like Wonderland, I like DeFi. I don't wanna hear about this other token play that you got going on. But if that's something you would be interested in, uh, where I can kind of provide analysis to different uh, tokens that I might add to, that I may or may not have added to my bag, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, again, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell um, to keep on some uh, time sensitive opportunities like this one here, Grape Finance. If you would have jumped on that when I mentioned it, you would have made like 50% returns within like 24 hours.
and that's with the appreciation of the the grape token as well as the uh the yield farming rewards literally in a day so if you would put a thousand in you would have got like 500 bucks um that doesn't happen all the time that is like an outlier like i didn't even put money in it because i was like yeah i don't know i kind of want to see how these tomb fork goes but it was actually it actually kind of paid off but who knows could have been a fluke we'll see how it works out but the opportunity is there i know some people took advantage of it and they made some bank so don't forget hit that notification bell so that you know exactly so you have time on your side okay when these new protocols hit the streets or hit the interwebs you're able to get on it so that's my time for now, guys. Thanks so much for being here. Don't forget $50 of free Bitcoin using the link below. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.